One thing that brings me joy, and I know brings you joy, like you mentioned, uh, are um, are the students at Performing Arts Studio West, mm -hmm. and we have a few of them on today. Oh my uh, gosh! They are coming on, and uh, they'll, they'll be able to ask some questions and say hello. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love them so much, and I'm, I'm looking forward. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hey guys. Uh, hi, David. Hey, hey. Hi, David. Hi, hi, Nick. How are you, buddy? Hi, Diana. Great. Hi, Great. Hi, Great. Hi. Hi, Jason. Hello, Diane. Oh, my God. This is so nice to see your beautiful faces. I am, I'm having joy right now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> nice to see you, too. Oh, my gosh. How are you? Great. Caleb. How are you? Guys. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, David. I'm, good. I'm really good. How are you, Jason? And I'm doing I'm good. good. Oh, good. Oh, I love it. Well, we were, we were, everyone, we were talking to Diana and uh, we, me, myself, and I, and Diana, we're, we were talking together and asking many questions. I, I'm going to throw out. One question. I, now, before we do start, I want to see Summer. I'm going to ask to start your video. And Isaac, start your video. Wonderful. We'll just try to get that going. Lovely, lovely. Is it, is it this team? Hi, Isaac. There we go, Summer. Hi, Isaac. How are you? So, um, one, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to start the uh, with one more question, and then Diana's going to see what questions that you have for her. Um, and it's, I, I mean, Diana, you have created, like I mentioned so much, you speak around the country. Um, you, you created 10 tools to consider when cultivating resiliency, right. which was featured in a, in a, in a book, Healing right. with Sisters. Uh, so what, what, I mean, beside doing that, you're also you've got you're creating Dreaming Big on a Swing Films Dream, production. Dreaming, Dreaming Big on a Swing Film. But yeah, that's the name of my production. Um, and I produced I associated produced I Can um last year, and then this year I worked with um uh, um I worked on a two films with the, with the Corey Reader and Shane Guerrero. Um, and Nicole Evans and Alice Keel I worked with this year. Um, so I had something to do that with the employees. Um, I, you know, I created that because I think it's really important to create your own work. I think that you can either wait for opportunity to happen or, or how create and dreaming big on a swing film that comes from when I was a little girl and I have a picture of myself um, sitting on a swing and I had my leg braces and I used to remember I used to dream about becoming an actress. You know, I used to sit in my backyard as a little girl and dream about being an actress. So dreaming big on a swing film that just that, uh, you know, Acknowledgement to that little girl that you just dream about LA and becoming an actress. And also, part of my mission with that film company is to give one person at least the opportunity to do something in front of or behind the camera. So, my, so my dream. One of the missions with that company, whenever I am producing something, that I would give at least one person an opportunity to make their own company, either doing something in front of or behind the camera. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, everyone, you have your questions ready for Miss Jordan. Yes. Hey. Hey, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a question? Yeah. What, what got you interested in acting? 
That's a really great question, Nick. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna answer it this way. I always knew I wanted to be an actress. So I it's don't think finish. it's what got me interested so much is oh. I always knew my dad had an older sister um, named Aunt Rhoda, my Aunt Rhoda, uh, who unfortunately she died before I was born, so I never met her. But I used to hear my grandmother, I used to hear my 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 dad and his sister and his brother, my uncle David, and my grandmother when she was still living, talk about my Aunt Rhoda. So I used to hear stories about her and how wonderful she was and how beautiful and amazing she was. But I just think is I'm one of those people that was lucky enough to have known what I wanted to do practically from the day I was born. It was just, I, I just always known. So it wasn't so much what got me interested. It was just, I kind of knew as a kid that's what I wanted to do. I like to say I was born, I think that the day I entered the world in dramatic fashion because the cerebral palsy was caused by lack of oxygen, so I didn't breathe on my own. Doctors worked on me for 45 minutes before I started breathing on my own. I love to say I was meant to be an actress if I entered the world in a highly dramatic fashion. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, yeah, that's that, 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 that I would know, Nick. How about Jake? Oh, click, we see me click. Hello? Hello. <laughs> what's, yeah, what, David. what's your, um, your part? Most of my part in, um, the film I did with Carl, the part I did in the film I did with Carl Hansen, Connections. Is that, is that okay? Um, yeah, last year I got to be part of the 48-hour film challenge, and I got to work with Carl Hansen, who is an award-winning film um, director from I Met the Beach at the Film Challenge. And, um, he, Carl's done some great films, and this is what I mean about work because work, because I went up to Carl, I'm like, I really want to work with you. So when the 48, he did the Disability Issues Theater Film Challenge, he also did the 48 Hour Film Challenge. So last year we got to work together, and I played a woman who wanted to dance on the bus, because it was all about making her dreams come true, as I said. I want to dance. So <laughs> and I want to like dance on the bobs. It was, it was awesome. That okay. film, I, I tell you, it's, it's such a good question, uh, Jason, because that film I saw, I had to watch it again, over and over again. It was so uplifting, and your dancing came from your soul. Thank you. Uh, right. Well, right. you know, you know what I'm happening is that Carl had said. What is something you've always wanted to do? I've always, I've always wanted to dance. And what, what I loved about working with both Carl and Corey as filmmakers is they've allowed me and the film that I've done to play roles where I may not necessarily be seen in. But now I have those on film, so in the real, I can say, look, I, I dance on film. Look, I play the real estate agent. Look, I played a cop. So it's really great to work with directors and producers who will give you an opportunity to be seen in a way that the industry may not necessarily see you, but they give me opportunities to, to be seen that way. I'm really, really grateful about that. Right, right. Uh, so how about, uh, let's go to uh, Caleb Hansen. Hey, oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, do you have any family in the biz? I do, actually. You know, I think my sister used to be in the biz. My cousin's family is a um, a well-known jazz musician. 
he was Grammy nominated jazz musician. My cousin Hill Harper is on the Good Doctor. He was good. in New York. Um, he did well. Um, theater. He did lots of movies. He's a very well known actor. Like I said, I mentioned I had an aunt who was an actress who um she died a year before I was born, so she was an actress. And my cousin Eric, um. My cousin, my cousin Eric, my cousin Eric is, is a filmmaker, and his wife, my cousin Moda, is a, um an actress, um as an actress in addition to running your own business and um doing many things. So yeah, I, I I've had family members who are in the industry. Wonderful. Have you ever like worked with them, or have you ever talked about working? I, with them? I, um, I, yes, Eric and Moda produced a film a few years ago that I got to be in, and there was another opportunity where um, I got to be, um, I was a delivery girl, so um, you know, again, I got to be cast in a role, and the, the name of the film escaped me right now, I'm so embarrassed. Um, so, um, yeah, that was another opportunity I got to be in a film where it wasn't about, where it wasn't necessarily disability specific, but I did got to be um, the delivery girl. So, and I was delivering cupcakes, I think it was. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Eric wrote that, and I got to be a part of it, and I was really excited about that. Ah, oh. I love that. You you said cupcakes, and I, I actually splurged today and had a lemon cupcake. So. Oh, how was that? Oh, oh my God, God. that was good. Oh, yes. Well, how about, we'll go to Lanzarod right now. Lanzarod, a question for Diana Elizabeth Jordan. Hello, uh, Diana. Hey. Um, what's, what's the longest set you've been on? <laughs> what, what, what are some shows that I've been on? Yeah. Okay, well, recently I, I got to do Seven Heaven. I got the long time we go, I got to do the shit. Within the past year, couple of years, I got to be on SWAT, which was really wonderful. And again, SWAT was another opportunity where I got to play um, a character where they weren't necessarily looking for an actor with a disability, but they cast an actor with a disability. And so I'm um, very grateful to TVS and their commitment to authenticity and diversity. But I, I got to do that on, on SWAT. That aired Valentine's. 2019. That, that, that was a really a lot of fun. Yeah. And, you know, the SWAT, you were on for maybe 10 seconds. Yeah. And that being that, said, that being said, it was right at the beginning, wasn't it? And it yes, was. Yes, I got it. I, I, I still remember that moment. It shows that even if you don't, it, you know, whether you have a part that's 120 pages or one line or two lines, powerhouse. You put it all into it, and that's what Diana did with that. Uh, you know, I, I have this very difficult task of looking at Shemar Moore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the <laughs> book, you have to sacrifice for an art that I had to be kind of good looking at her all day long. I can't like how to do it. <laughs> you know, it wasn't easy, but you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, we talk about the hard stuff. Sometimes Gotta do the hard stuff for your art. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, good. that's a good one. Okay, Isaac, Isaac Leva, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you unmute. Uh, a question, my my dear friend, to Diana Elizabeth Jordan. Isaac Leva. Hi, Diana. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. I am, guys, this is so much fun. David and I were just talking about joy, and I'm feeling so much joy right now because I get to be with all you guys. So what, what's up, Isaac? Um, I just need to know, how did you get into acting? 
Um, this is a great question, Isaac. You know, I, um, like I said earlier, I've always wanted to be an actress. I was really lucky that I went to a high school many years ago <laughs> that has a really great theater program. And um, I was always mainstream. I went to school with kids that didn't have disabilities, did not have disabilities. But what was really great is the head of the acting department, Mr. Eichram and Ms. Inglehart, Ms. Berkman, who are the teachers that were there, they were so supportive and encouraging. And they could have said, now I'll still never forget taking my first acting class, because I actually went to a high school that offered acting classes as part of the curriculum. And I remember I took my first acting class my freshman year, and we had these little like scene books, like scene for teens or whatever. And um, after my class, I remember going out to do my first scene. <laughs> Everyone opened their scene book as if they couldn't understand what I was saying. Mm. And um, afterward, Mr. Eichram came out to everyone and said, the whole class and said, how many of you understood her? If you understood her, raise your hand. And how did anyone raise their hand? And I was mortified. I remember, um, afterward, Mr. Eitrum said, um, you know, he pulled me aside and I thought for sure we were gonna say, you can't be in this class because it was still when you could change. You know, Diana, at the end of the semester, I want everyone to raise their hands. So he was so, you know, we were saying, you know, they may not understand you, but you work really hard, so they do understand you. And um, I, I was lucky through the magic of Facebook to reconnect with Mr. Eitrim, um years later. Um, before he passed away, and his kids are my, his kids are my age, <laughs> you know, his kids are not my age, so I'm really good really friends with his daughter and his um, older son, his older son, um, and actually his widow, his wife, Mrs. Eichmann, and I are in touch on Facebook, so he got to see some of my progress, Yeah. Um, he got to see that I, you know, went there and I got a graduate degree and got to see all that and mm -hmm. um I'm just really glad I'm really grateful so, so, so. that I had teachers who were honestly encouraging and what I mean by that is they told me it would be difficult and it would be very challenging but they never told me it would be impossible they just said it would be really hard and they were right you know it is hard yeah. but they never said you shouldn't do this. They just said, if you do this, you're going to have to work all that much harder because it's going to be more challenging for you. And they were absolutely right, but in the most loving and encouraging way. I love it too when you can really keep in touch with those people that you grew up with. It's, you know, when I, I was honored in 2012, um, we have something called the Tradition of Excellence Award at my high school, my alma mater, the TO Award. And they, 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 they at the ceremony, and they put your picture on the wall. So in 2012, I was one of the honorees for a Tradition of Excellence Award. And Mr. Eitrim had passed away by then, but Mrs. Eitrim and Karen, his daughter, came from Minnesota and I got to get my ceremony in the same theater where I did play and had to go. So it was this really amazing full circle moment for me. Uh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, summer, summer, summer. Hi. Baby. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay. You guys are better. Normally when I do interviews, I don't call everybody sweetheart, but you guys are like so special to me. What's up, Summer? I'm listening to, to you, what you're talking about. I'm, um, because you 
You were listening to what she was talking about, yes? Oh, okay, good. Cool. And what, do you have a, a question for Diana? What is your question for her? Um, I was gonna say, how many years has she been an actress? How many years have I been an actress? Longer than the age I tell my agent that I am. <laughs> 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 I no seriously. I'm really blessed. I did my first professional show in 1987 with a show called Wait with the with the Human Theater Company in Chicago, Illinois, at the theater building. There was a fake of the theater building. That was my first show, 1987. I was one, and no, <laughs> no, I was the youngest. So yeah, I I've, I've been acting professionally since 1987. Wow, it's amazing because I'm only 25. So it's just really. <laughs> now I've been able to do that. <laughs> I have to say, I started acting. How many years have? I probably 246 years because I was an actor in one of my past lives. Oh, were you? Wow. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I did my first show in 1987. I've been really, really lucky to be working pretty steadily, you know. I, I can't, you know, I'm in the, the woman of a certain age category, but <laughs> I, you know, I want to, but I embrace that, you know, I want to show positive role models no matter what. And, you know, I, I know now that when they get to the certain age, you know, life is wonderful. And people well, do second and third act. So here's the thing I, I want to show that. Here's the thing too about a certain age. How do you see the community, the Hollywood community with uh, women of a certain age? I, you know, I really think that with everything that's gone on in the world, you know, the impact and there's so much more of an increase now in call for diversity. I think people have been called, you know, it's just everywhere. There's so much more. I really hope that's going to trickle down, not, or trickle across, not down. Mm. People across all the intersections, including age and size, and you know, the people from the 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 um queer community. I mean, I I just want. I mean, there is so much content now. I mean, well, that's being created. So many platforms. So much content. There. There needs to be intersectional you know, images. If we're really going to reflect what society looks like, that doesn't mean that I'm doing it. But, and, and, and it shouldn't be just one. You know, it shouldn't be just, you know, Diana, the African American actress who has a disability. I don't want to be the only one. I don't want to be the only representation. Yeah. I don't think this should just be one deaf actor or one actress who uses a wheelchair or actresses, actresses who have, you know, no, no, no diverse actors. I don't think it's one, I think it's, we are the largest part of the population. So hopefully this will be a push for making sure that we're visible and about 20% of the images we see on TV and film we're, we're at 2% right now. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of it. There's been a really good increase. But I, I mean, I would love that year to say, hey, God, did you see my my client, Nick? He, he was on this show, and Isaac was on this show. You know, I, one of the reasons I teach is I want because I'm very proud of the not only the type of people that we have here at the Women at the US, but they're beautiful artists, they're artistry, they're, they're working actors, they understand the craft. And I, that's why I teach the people to understand that it is a craft. This is not 
something you get up and do. There is a craft. Yeah. This is a beautiful craft. And like you said, there's so many amazing actors at Performing Arts Studio West and me. There are. And I, I, I'm looking I at about um, seven of them right here. How about that? Yeah, yeah. We have, I think, I think that's Jamesia. Is that Jamesia? Oh my God. Yeah. Hi, Baby, and, and you. Hi, we, we, hello. Uh, we, hi, Diane. We can't see you, but we can hear you. Uh, hi, Diane. Hi, Sweetie. How, how are you? I'm doing you. Good. Did you, did you have a question? Yes, I do. How is it, um, 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 uh, how was, um, uh, 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 how was the 99 community on, on your page to do your lawyer acting? How, how did I learn about acting? Yes. Okay. Well, that's a great question. Um, well, like I said, I was really lucky that I went to a high school that had a great performing arts program. So uh, I get, I went to a high, that's a great question. I went to a high school that had a great performing arts program. So I got to take acting classes almost every year, all four years I was in high school. One of my classes was an acting class. That was always one of my electives. Um, so like, you know, yeah, I would go to science and I would go to math and then one of my periods would be an acting class. Then when I went to college, um, I took classes in college. I, I, I designed an undergraduate major. I majored in, got an associate degree in occupational therapy. If I were gonna be the, the support job, then I got my bachelor's of general studies in theater. Um, then I took acting classes when I was in, in Chicago working, you know, taking acting classes, auditioning. And then in 98, I decided I wanted to, I got accepted into the Masters of Fine Arts program at Cal State Long Beach. Mm -hmm. I moved out. Then I was How were you taking out on your job? Uh, how did I get my job at Performing Arts Studio West? Yeah. Oh, I met John Pazes at a SAG meeting. I love it. And it was really great it. because yeah. it was a performance of disability SAG meeting back in 1999. It was really funny because I, I, it was, this is like my favorite story. It was in between my first summer graduate school, so I had to find a job. And earlier that day, I had interviewed at the college junior for a job. Um, and <laughs> the professor came back and said, well, not the director, the man. The director came back. When you come, I'm gonna, I'll be right back, and when you come back, I want to ask you why you wanted to work at college junior. And I started to cry because I did not want to work at Carl Juniors. Nothing against Carl Juniors. It's a great place to eat. I just didn't want to work there. And then later on that <laughs> night, I went to a SAG meeting for performers with disabilities, met John, and kind of the rest of history. Oh, I love that. Great question. Oh, I love, I love it. it. Great question. Listen, we have uh, we have one more question from the wonderful Igor. Hi, Igor. How are you, darling? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Great to see you, by the way. Hey, great to see you too, Igor. Thanks. Has acting always been your dream? Yes. Yeah, even when I dreamed about other things, yeah. I mean, it was always there, always. Never really wanted to do anything else. So I, oh, I'm, awesome. literally, I'm literally one of those people that is loved enough to live my dream. It's not Thank always God. easy, but I get to live my dream every day. And Thank God. It's amazing. Well, Diana, by living your dream, 
you give inspiration and power to so many people, and especially at Performing Arts Studio West, Meet the Biz, and so many people. Oh, thank you. I mean, you gotta be, I mean, you know, I feel very lucky that I get to do what I do with the people I get to do it with. With David and Joe and Lindsay and John and Alexander and Chardell and Steve and Megan and Nicole and Damien and Lisa and Lucien and I hope I didn't leave anybody off and Pascal and Jocelyn <laughs> and <laughs> all the people I get to go to work with every day and you guys. And because, you know, David and I were talking about joy, there are times when I might be having a bad day, and you guys are my joy. You guys bring so much joy into my life. I don't think you realize now. And, you know, especially since we're not together, that means so much more to me when I get to see you guys or talk to you guys on the phone like we get to talk with some of you each week. So, um, I feel very, very lucky. Well, we're all lucky. And thank you, Diana Elizabeth Jordan. Thank you, everyone, for for being here today and, and being here on Meet the Biz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need to ask you something. Yes. Um, what day will we come back to school? <laughs> Diana? Um, you guys, we, uh, we, and, uh, we don't know yet because the most important thing is that we're all safe. Yes. So now we're going to be grateful for being together like this until that day we can all come back together. Because we're really not apart. We're only apart physically. We're not apart in our hearts. Right. Right? That's true. But I don't get to, yeah. I give you guys a hug in my heart every day. Thank you. So, Thank but, you. but the most important thing right now is that we remain safe. And unfortunately, right now, it's not as safe for us to be together. So we'll just be together like this, right? And we'll be together right. in my heart. Right. I'm thankful and grateful and appreciative. Yes. And yeah. be sure to wear your mask. And we got morning meeting tomorrow, so we'll I'm get sure. to be together. Hey, yeah. Diana. Yeah, love. Do you remember about the chocolate? What? <laughs> the chocolate. Oh, the chocolate, yes. I miss my chocolate. <laughs> Wait a minute. What chocolate? Oh, we don't want to talk about that, Marjorie. Joke with the guys. That's making chocolate. Uh, all right. Well, thank you all. I know you all have some other classes to go to and all that. So, we'll see you tomorrow at morning meeting. Right on. Thank you, Lord. All the best and God bless. All right. Bye, Bye, buddy. Bye, bye. 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 Love you. Miss you. Love you. Miss you. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Our pleasure. More than our pleasure. You're welcome. You guys made my day. Thank you. You you made ours. Uh.